Good afternoon, Mr. Babs. How are you today? Good afternoon to you. Fine, thank you. So it is my honor to announce to you that you are our Distinguished Alumnus of the Year for 2020 for all of your involvement in Illinois Physical Therapy Association as well as the American Physical Therapy Association. Thank you so much, Mr. Babs, for all that you have done. Thank you so much for the honor. I, I accept it on behalf of my family. I appreciate it and I'm, I'm glad that there was not a lot of fanfare. Oh, yes. Maybe this pandemic prevented us from doing a lot of fanfare. <laughs> but we are very thrilled to be able to present you the award. It's the highest honor that the uh, Alumni Association offers, and we're just very, you, you're definitely a worthy recipient of the award from all that you have done over the years. Well, North Preston gave me a lot. Thank you for coming out to be a part of this living history that we're getting on your fascinating life. When and where were you born? I was born in 1934, right after the Great Depression, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. It's such a beautiful city. Did you grow up there as well? I spent the first 20 years of my life in Charlotte. That's wonderful. Now, while you were at Northwestern and you got involved with APTA, and uh, I noticed that you've also been involved with the Illinois Physical Therapy Association and a number of leadership roles. Would you say that Elizabeth Woods had some impact in helping you get into leadership in those two organizations? She uh, mentored me, and actually, she was the treasurer. She had me help her with the books. Once I got out, I think she nominated me for treasurer. What all did you do at the University of Chicago while you were there? Went there to build the physical therapy practice to match the medical model that they had at the university. The two physicians that brought me over to the University of Chicago were an orthopedic surgeon and a rheumatologist, and they needed specialized therapies for their patients. So I went over in 1968 and we were able to build a practice and we had people from all over the world uh, in our practice. So we had a, a great learning experience and a very diverse group of therapists, very accomplished. That's wonderful. You've been involved in so many different leadership roles. Uh, in the Illinois Physical Therapy Association, the American Physical Therapy Association, as well as contributing back to Northwestern in a number of different ways. What has been a reason that you have decided to give the way that you do? I think it was part of the training that I had in my youth, but also at Northwestern, that was an involvement that was required and expected. Yes, you were on the alumni board as well, is that correct? That is correct. Can you say anything more about um, giving back and how that's been a, a value that you have learned throughout the years? I think it was part of the training that I had in my youth, but also at Northwestern. Ms. Wood had a huge impact on what we did and made it very exciting. And there, there were any number of opportunities to get into the profession and the organization and to participate. I think giving back is probably a part of your upbringing, your faith posture, and uh, lastly, a professional responsibility. New graduates should immediately join their uh, alumni associations, uh, immediately start learning to give, immediately join their professional organizations and participate in those. And I think that that helps broaden their experiences and involvement. What are some things that you have learned throughout your lifetime that you would like to pass on or share with other physical therapists or healthcare professionals? The simplest thing is you will never be able to give more than you receive. Professionalism is 
a responsibility with accountability. And it's very interesting that it has nothing to do with certification, your degree. It's, it's all about your values and your work ethic. And that's another thing that uh, Northwestern would like to do today is we would like to actually name a scholarship in your honor because we, as a university, want to encourage and recognize people that are working to improve diversity in our profession, in our studies, in our field, and at the university. That brings tears to my eyes. You've worked very hard, sir, and we just want to be able to honor you, and we need more people like you, and I'm very grateful that this is being done in your honor. Thank you so much. On behalf of my family, proud of everyone that I worked with and all of the millions of things that they've accomplished. You're welcome. Congratulations on being selected to receive the 2020 Physical Therapist Distinguished Alumnus Award at Northwestern University's Feinberg School of Medicine. What a great honor for you and for our profession and for the school. I know firsthand just how important you have been to so many physical therapists and probably to many others as well in your distinguished career. Without your mentorship, your support, and being with me consistently at many times over the years, I know that I personally never could have achieved what I did in my life. My name is Rob Tillman. I'm president of the American Academy of Physical Therapy. We'd like to share in this appreciation of Robert Babs. And thank you, Mr. Babs, for all that you've done for the Academy. God bless you and we love you. When I heard this terrific news, I had a flashback to the day when Van and I flew out from Philadelphia to interview you. And just what a life-changing day that was for me. Over the past 45 years, the amount of knowledge I received from you, the friendship and the love that you've given to me has been overwhelming and I would never be able to thank you enough for what you've done. And I wanted to celebrate Mr. Robert Babs for his contribution to the world of physical therapy, and I mean the world, um, because he has given so much to us and it has rippled out and rippled out and rippled out. And he probably doesn't know, but despite not being in practice anymore, he still has influenced and will be influencing generations of physical therapists. Um, Mr. Babs is the kind of human that we all should aspire to be. I met, first met you. You have always come across to me as very unassuming when being so generous with your time, your professional guidance, your expertise, and especially the vast resources that you personally have in helping to build medical careers, especially those of minority physical therapists. I clearly remember as an anxious young minority health professional, I, I remember feeling so empowered with a renewed confidence uh, leaving your office. This award recognizes you for the countless contributions to the profession of physical therapy. Your troops have known this long before this award came to be. Through your commitment, energy, and dedication, you built a great department at U of C. Congratulations, Babs, and can't wait to see you soon. You just support, and you offer advice, and you listen, and that is something that we really, really need and value in our days now. So congratulations from me and this baby <laughs> that is soon to come any day now. Thank you so much for all that you have done for us. Some of the best days of my life was working for you at University of Chicago 45 years ago when this little Southern girl arrived um, at U of C in 1975, you welcomed me and all, along with my other group of co-workers, we just had a wonderful experience with you. I want to start off by saying congratulations on receiving this award that portrays your hard work, your dedication to craft, your passion for others, and your strive for greatness. Although I've yet to meet you, I know of the person you are based off of the stories I've heard about you 
and the change you have left in your wake at NUPT HMS. I have the honor to bestow the Physical Therapy and Human Movement Sciences Distinguished Alumnus Award upon a graduate who has exemplified excellence, leadership, dedication, and service throughout their life. This award recognizes an alumnus or alumni whose outstanding professional achievements bring honor to Northwestern and merit special recognition. It is the highest honor that one can receive from the department. This year's recipient, Robert Bobbs, has been a tremendous leader throughout his life and career and a person of exceptional character. His career spent more than 40 years. For 30 of those years, he was the director of physical therapy at the University of Chicago Hospitals. There he worked to improve the quality of practice and patient care and trained and mentored successive generations of physical therapists. He has held adjunct faculty appointments at several universities and has been involved in clinical education, receiving numerous awards and honors for his teaching and role as an educator. Robert joined the American Physical Therapy Association in 1956, which by the way, is the year that I was born, while he was still a student at Northwestern and went to serve in leadership roles at the state, district, and national level. He is a charter member, past president, and co-founder of the Chicagoland Physical Therapy Directors Forum, as well as a charter member of the American Academy of Physical Therapy. Robert is a loving husband, a proud father and grandfather. He is also a veteran of two branches of the U.S. Armed Forces, going so far as to achieve the rank of mayor in the U.S. Air Force Reserves. There is much more we could say about Robert's many accomplishments. But more than anything, I will say that I'm proud that he is part of our university. While we seek to honor him with this award, his life honors us all. Please join me in congratulating our 2020 PT Distinguished Alumnus, Robert Bobbs Jr. Congratulations, Robert. So well deserved. Mm -hmm.